blueberry muffins. So we're just gonna pick these up. Okay. You want to scan? Okay, you want to. It shows you what tote to put in there, which is number three. So, let's see. So, scan. And you want to put the muffins in the tote. And when you print out your stickers, you normally want to do them like one, two, three, four. Next item is ketchup, um, and I can show you guys how to like find the location. We're going to A7. This is A7 here. Okay, and it says section five. So if you look up here, this says. So you just want to keep going down. Now we're at. So you just want to keep going down. And down. We're going to A7, Section 5. Okay. We are at A7, Section 5. And modular. 42. So you just want to look at these numbers in the black square until you get to 42. <laughs> All right, and here's our ketchup. And to double check, um, it says 20 ounces. And you can look at the bottle as well and see that it says 20 ounces because sometimes the items are in the wrong spot. So it's okay to double check sometimes. And all right, and we're gonna put this in tote number eight. Before you start working at Walmart, um, you can kind of figure out the layout of the store. Just kind of walk around and just to the point where you know where almost everything is. So you have a good idea when you're picking so you know where this item could be or where the other item could be. It's best to just have a general idea of the layout of your store. But as you guys work at Walmart, you'll slowly learn um, the layout and where everything's at. Um, and they'll teach you about where all the items are in the back room. So, no need to worry. Okay, now we're picking some Great Value Yellow Mustard. Um, A7, Section 6, Modular 21. Okay. So. A7, Section 6. And this is where it's supposed to be at. Modular 21, but nothing's there um also when they don't have the item in stock if you don't see it on the shelf look up here for it because it might be up here um and if you don't see it up here either um you can just mark item not found and there's also another way to check if there's any in the back but it's pretty busy today so we're not going to do that thinking this mustard right here might be the great value so i'm just gonna I can get it Ugh. and okay this isn't the one so I'm just gonna mark the item as not found and it should give us a substitution um, let's see 
also here's another tip when you're substituting items um you kind of want to give them the same amount that they would usually get so this person wanted 20 ounces of mustard so i'm gonna find another bottle that's 20 ounces and see if i can substitute it let's see so i'm gonna try this mustard and see what happens and substitute item and let's see what it does okay it doesn't want us to substitute that so um let's see i'm gonna try to give them two of these since this is 14 ounces and they want 20. so let's see if it'll take now let's see and we're gonna put in two so anytime you replace a person's items you kind of want to give them the same amount that they wanted okay and it let us substitute it and then you just hit complete after you scan the tote same thing guys we want to go we're in the right hour we're in a7 and we want to go to section 13 modular 15. so uh, we're in the right section right hour and this is modular 15. so we have our sauce and you just want to scan it find the barcode and guys never ever scan this square thing here um yeah because it's not going to accept just make sure you're always scanning the barcode here and now we want to put it in number three Now we have to go to another owl. We have to go to owl 88. Owl 88 and section 11. Okay, module 6. Let's see. Just want to keep looking. And then with the elbows. Okay, so like I said, some of these locations aren't right. Um, as you can see, there's no number six here. It's just the number five. Um, so you just have to kind of look out for that. Uh, let's see. Now we're gonna try to scan the elbows. All right, and they want five. So we'll get five more. I'm at four more. <laughs> just want to hit pick and we're going to put it in tote number one also another tip you guys when you're picking canned goods um you don't want to pick the customer or something that's bent up you want to get them a can that's that's normal in pretty good shape and then when you're at your last item um i'm not going to scan it just yet I'm gonna bag first and when you have to bag all your items um you have to do it on the floor so i try to find like a secluded aisle which is the paper towel aisle nobody's hardly ever in here um because i'm antisocial. <laughs> so i just bag in this aisle 